thank you all for joining us here at another great red in NYC event. We want to thank our sponsors tonight, Atlas and View. Our interviewer tonight, Michael Bilt, a licensed public insurance adjuster and managing partner of Atlas Adjustments, LLC. Atlas advocates for the policyholder in the preparation, presentation, negotiation of all property insurance claims. They are partners with ownership groups and property managers, ensuring that all insurance loss and recovery are at the maximum. And they're licensed in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Illinois, Puerto Rico, and expanding every year will be all, in all 50 states, I'm sure. Michael Bilt will be actually interviewing tonight, interviewing the two principals of Murray Hill Properties, Norman Sterner, co-founder of Murray Hill Properties, and someone who serves as chairman of the board. Almost five decades ago, Mr. Sterner established Murray Hill Properties and he has been successful in the acquisition and disposition of over 150 properties in the last five decades with an aggregate value of over $12 billion. Recently, Norman Sterner was honored for the sixth year by the Commercial Observer as one of the 100 most powerful and influential people in the New York real estate industry. Murray Hill Properties, together with their partners Banyan Street Capital, now manage over 15 million square feet in the eastern region of the United States with an aggregate value in excess of three billion. David Sterner is the president and CEO of Murray Hill, real, Murray Hill Property Real Estate Services. Under his guidance, the brokerage and project asset management departments were formed, and he operates as CEO of the whole company at this time. David's current position as president and CEO, he oversees all of Murray Hill Properties' business, including the brokerage division as well. Prior to joining Murray Hill Properties, David got his start in the construction management business in 1989. He's a graduate of Boston University with a BS in Business Administration. It's my pleasure to introduce Michael Bilt as our interviewer and Norman and David who will give you a lot of insight into where the market is today, where it may be going, their activities, and it's now my pleasure to turn the mic over to Michael. Please Please, can I have your attention, please? No more talking. We have people who want to listen. Please come up closer to the front. And I'm turning the mic over right now to Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your being here and being quiet. Thank you. I'm sure everyone's here to network and uh, drink and not listen to what any of us have to say, but thank you for being here. It's a beautiful crowd. Thank you to the Red and NYC staff. You guys always put on an amazing event. Uh, again, I'm Michael Bilt, Atlas Adjustments. If you don't know what a public adjuster is or how you can benefit from our services, please come over and talk to me later on today. Uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce uh, the reason everybody's here today, Norman and David Sterner, MHP Properties. Come on up. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to turn the mic right over to you. You guys go ahead and give us a little background on your company. And, and what you guys Thank you very much for uh, coming. I don't know if anyone knows, but Norman Sterner has been in this business, as they said, for 50 years. He has bought and sold over 162 properties, adding value at a IRR return of 36% average across the board. Um, I, can only, I can only tell you that I joined the firm 20 years ago and my claim to fame is I haven't screwed up his reputation in the 20 years I've been there. 
Um, with all that said, we've been very successful together in the last 60 properties I've been involved with. Um, we've uh, recently refinanced 180 Maiden Lane, a very successful uh, skyscraper in the downtown Manhattan area. We're also building the Margaritaville Hotel that has three floors of retail underneath, two floors that are already rented, and we're waiting for uh, the space to be ready in November for the first floor to be finished. Um, with no, uh, no other tenants uh, we're looking for, only the 4,800 square feet we have available on that first floor. Without going into more promotion for Murray Hill Properties, I'm going to give you the history of Murray Hill and just hand it over to Norman Stern. Hi, folks. Hi. Quiet, please. Anybody in the back want to listen? Just a little bit of quiet. We've got 11 of the 12 minutes left. <laughs> um, if you listen to the TED series, they say after 12 minutes, everybody's eyes gloss over. So now you've got 10 and a half minutes, and then I'll leave you to that. Uh, started the company in 1971. There were three of us. Uh, in the last 49 years, we've done 152 properties. We've done tens of millions of feet where, because of David uh, changing the profile of the company, we're building, as he just said, the Margaritaville Hotel in Times Square. It'll be ready for tourists this year, uh, which is phenomenal, and it's probably the hardest thing we've ever done, um, as opposed to uh, operating a 1.2 million foot building down here at Maiden Lane, which is one of the best things we've ever done in terms of getting uh, appreciation. You, you take on a building that was wrecked by Hurricane Sandy, 23 feet of water in the property, and today, and, and I wish every one of you could come down, um, we're 90% rented. We refied Monday, and um, we'll, we'll talk to Calsters sometime in six months about our next project. Uh, this city is nothing short of incredible. It's 17 square miles. It's got 400 million square feet. Think about it. We are larger than the next four cities in the United States combined for office space. Uh, we're running single-digit vacancy. The city continues to reinvent itself. The city continues to grow. Had you been here 10 years ago and somebody told you that we're going to build 10 million feet on the exterior of this incredible island, some of the folks would have said to us that they did, it's going to sink. <laughs> it can't handle that kind of weight. And People like Related and Brookfield and Silverstein have proven them all wrong. Um, and it's being rented up, and it's being rented up at incredible numbers. And uh, then you get the east side rezoning. We've been trying to have a subway system come up from all the way uptown on 2nd Avenue for 20 years. It's about the same time as we did the water tunnel. Well, it's here. and. Uh, it's just one of the amazing places, and if anybody in this room is a reader, then start with Island at the Center of the World. Uh, this is such a unique place that started as just a good harbor, and we took a very small part in building this incredible city. Um, we own and operate millions of feet of office on the island of Manhattan. That's what we do. That's what we're good at. Um, it, it's, it's just one of those incredible cities. Uh, they'll tell you that every city has a park. Every city has a finance district. Every city has a jewelry district. Every city has a Chinatown. Every city has any one of those things. This city has all of them. All of them. We have uh, a financial district that's called Wall Street. It's known all over the world. We have a park called Central Park. 
it's known all over the world. Uh, we have multiple newspapers. We have every conceivable sports uh, stadium and, and authority all in this city. Um, and all of the things that I continue to get up in the morning, walk through that park, come to work, come to work and I, I am constantly amazed at, at the way this city has grown. I came in here in 1971 when the city was on the depths of the back. Uh, give you an idea, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 37 apartments on 57th Street was $70,000. Not $70,000 an apartment. $70,000. That was our start into the real estate business. Uh, okay. Um, anyway, that's who we are. That's what we do. Um, the company is now being run by David. Uh, we've sold a majority interest to Banyan Street Capital. Um, it's turned into a very effective partnership for continuing to operate. Um, if there are questions, uh, David and I would be happy to answer them. Only easy ones, please. <laughs> he is an icon um, and deserves that clap. Um, just talking of, I guess we were asked to talk about the Margaritaville Hotel. Uh, it's been four years in the making. Uh, it had some troubled waters. Um, but uh, hats off to our partner and the rest of our partners. Really, it's a conglomerate of uh, Flintlock Construction, Soho Properties, and ourselves, as well as San Chatwell, just so we all know it was a dream, which he is still now operating the Margaritaville for Margaritaville Hotels brand. So he is our partner, who is the owner of this hotel as well, and will be running all the F&B operations there. It will open this summer, and the retail will be closely behind it. Uh, in November. So ultimately it's been a success and as I as my father has said development ground up development is very risky very tricky and time-consuming uh, To have it done in less than five years. I actually consider it a success Sure, let's go question. Okay, so uh, something that I always like to ask you guys you guys own millions of square feet in New York City uh, the rental laws have changed considerably in 2019. How's that impacted the business? What is your outlook for the future and how that might change things? It's all residential. It doesn't affect our business. We do no residential or, or multifamily now. It's all commercial office. The hotel is actually um, a fluke. It wasn't really all about, it was mostly about the retail. And at the time, five years ago, retail was at its peak. Okay, and other than that, look, everybody's here to network. Everybody wants to do business, so uh, in, a, in a totally self-serving manner, anybody that wants to do business with you guys, you guys are the big wigs in here. Everybody wants to meet you guys. Uh, how might somebody approach you guys, uh, the interviewer, for example, to do business with you guys in the future? <laughs> Excellent. Well, great, guys. Thank you for your time. Great meeting you guys. And... Uh, Th thank you. Well, thank you, David, Norman, Michael. They will be available to be with you right now. I want to thank you all for coming tonight. February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, is the next red event. Bring your va Valentine to the next red event or find your Valentine here. And in March, there will be a black tie event at the Harvard Club. The next event will feature... David Kramer of the Hudson Companies. Once again, Mario Properties tonight. Thank you, David and Norman and Michael Blitt of Atlas. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you all for joining us tonight. <laughs>